So I guess you gave me a topic. Uh, you choose your money, your future. And uh, I guess this is what we find ourselves in today. So I began premise with this uh, session. We are in very precarious times. And I, I, I envy you, the students, because you have the best opportunity to change or improve our life. So let me first start by, this, by quoting a few renowned writers about uh, choices. Life presents many choices. The choices we make determine our future, says Catherine Pilsoffer. And in every single thing you do, you are choosing a direction. Your life is a product of your choices. As, as we all agree, all, where we are today is the result of our choices, the choices of our parents, the choices of our friends, and the choice we made on who to be a friend of or who to be an enemy of. Wherever we are, whatever we do today is the result of what we have chosen to do. Oh, so you chose to be here, and I commend you because you're scholars and you are here and you have chosen to, sh to listen to the sharing, which I hope can somehow impact your way of thinking. And the first thing we do is basically understand that today is the first day of your adult life. And like in everything else, the first question is, nasan ba ako ngayon? Where am I today? As a simple example, if I'm making a trip from Makati to Cubao, I know where I am coming from. I'm coming from SM Makati. I want to go to SM Cubao. I know, hindi ako kailangan pumunta sa SM Las Piñas or SM Cavite. My direction is very clear. My end game is very clear. The same is true with our lives. I'm a student about to graduate. Nasaan tayo ngayon? Where am I today? What have I achieved? I'm a scholar. I have learned something. And I need to know, ano po ba kailangan ko? And what do I really want to do with my life? So I'll start with a short story about a real short story in Payatas. Years ago, I came across an article about a local missionaries representing a particular uh, ministry na nagbibigay ng musical instruments in Payatas. Their ministry was music. They wanted to improve the lives of children in Payatas. Payatas, if you know, is the uh, dumping ground for garbage. So you can imagine new conditions of their, their living conditions. But these local missionaries dreamt that they would give hope to the children. So what did they do? They organized a small community there and they gave them musical instruments, guitars, mostly string instruments. And they, they built a very small place, very clean, and taught them how to play guitar and music, etc. In the beginning, all the parents there were against them. I mean, we need our children to help us earn money every day. I say a lot of them were just uh, doing buy and sell or whatever goods they can sell in the market or outside with their caritons, and they needed the, their children to help them. Why are they going to be to take up their time learning music and not earn money? At any rate, to make a long story short. They were able to do it with a small group of children. And the first task they asked them was a blackboard piece. Can you write down your dreams? They asked every child, what is your dream? And in the blackboard or whiteboard, I want to be a tricycle driver. I want to be a barker and jeepney. 
Ako gusto ko maging Japayuki. Ako gusto ko mag-messenger. Ako gusto ko magtinda ng mani. So what is that saying? Their dreams were tailored by their environment. Kung ano yung nakikita nila, hanggang doon lang sila na nanaginip. So after a while, learning music, of course, nagtuturo na rin sila ng values na ang lahat tayo may sariling kakayahan. We can do more than where we are. After a few months, they started to clean the place. Yung mga mothers ng mga bata got sold to the idea because when the children come home, nililinis nila yung maliit nilang squatter area. Malinis yung bahay nila, yung kwarto nila by the effort of their children. The mothers learn from the children. Kumalat yun sa community. And one day, ninakaw lahat ang kanilang instruments. All of their musical instruments were stolen. So they approached, I guess, the kingpin in the area, yung pinakasiga-siga, who happened to have a child within the group. Nagalit siya. Within one day, na isoli lahat ang mga nanakaw. So what? Then they continued on. Months later, they asked the same question. Isulat ninyo sa blackboard what your dreams are. And the dreams were now changed. Nakasulat na, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a school owner. I want to be this and that. Completely different from the first day when they started. And all because of music. Music is not, it's not uh, something we, we look at as, as something that can change our internal values. But I guess the way they did it, music gave them the value of understanding that they are human beings with aspirations. So the question I have to you scholars is, what is your dream? We start with that because everything we do, the choices we will make from now is based on what your dreams are. And your dreams will also be tailored that will be shaped by our environment and the opportunities. And what creates opportunities? Your environment and governance. The people who run your community, who run your province, who run your city, who run our government. They are the ones who tailor and shape our opportunities, which eventually shape our dreams. So what is the anatomy of our future? Lahat tayo have ambitions. During my time, when I was graduating like you, I did not have any idea on what to do, except a clear want, a desire to be economically independent when I grow up, when I start working. Because nakikita ko sa environment ko that people who are successful are successful because they achieve, they perform. And the environment during our time was kind of uh, positive. There were good employment opportunities. So kami nun, the dream was find good employment, establish a family, sustain good uh, income, educate our children, and maybe travel. As limited to that. So the first dream we had was good employment or good source of sustainable earnings to achieve what we wanted, to travel, have a good family, have our own home. So our future and your future is really defined by the economic status you want to have. And you have to move towards that. And your potential, your potential nothing that we can do that is based on the opportunities facing us today. In our time, the opportunities were exciting. 
magaling ang patakbo nun, maganda ang uh, takbo ng gobyerno. So it was easy for us to get good employment with very, very good employers. But today, that is not the case. A lot of graduates now with very good credentials cannot find work. But that is because although they had the capability, may education, kulang pangalang sa experience, but the experience is a product of opportunity. We cannot have experience unless we go through actual, actual work or actual situations where we are able to demonstrate our ability and our willingness to fail, our will to execute. So future nothing, if you analyze it, it's very simple. Find out where you are, what do you want, and do a roadmap, make your own roadmap, how to achieve the dream. First, you build your capability, then you establish your opportunity. But unfortunately, sometimes the opportunity is beyond our control. But really, it is not. Because the opportunity given to us is the product of those who manage our society. Governance is the source of our opportunity. If governance is bad, well, our opportunities will be limited to the very few. That began in golden years now during martial law. True, golden years for a very few, but not for the masses of Philippines. That was the time when martial law was in place. But today we have an opportunity to determine what the future will be for us. Because the same opportunities for livelihood, etc. Hindi mga yari yan. If governance is bad, and I'll show that in a few slides later. That time that the the values of society have changed during our time. If your wealth was achieved. Fraudulently, or if you are a mayaman, because you are poor, or because you have made a mistake, you are not respected in society. You are not respected in society. Today, it is no longer the case. Pasat may pera ka bida ka ngayon. You can buy everything. You can even buy so-called respect. Pero yung respect na yun pagkaharap mo lang. Wala ka na iba na sinasabi. They're just after money. I, want to, I don't want too much to go into this detail except to prove the point now. Define natin and have a very good understanding of our future. And our future depends on our ability, our capability to execute. Hindi yung plano lang, but execute and to all have opportunities which is based on our choice of who will govern us. That is the formula. Our mindset should be that of success based on our own capability and our choices that we will make to open up the opportunities. So let me start with a brief economic background today. Nasan ba tayo? What is the state of our economy? Well, I don't have to go to the number one in the slide here of the COVID pandemic. Alam natin what has happened in the last two years. We've lost 40% of small businesses. Uh, unemployment is very, very high. A lot of companies have closed down. A lot of foreign investors left. Look at number two, the foreign direct investments of Filipinas. We are a poor country. Generally, so if we will just rely on the investing capability of our own citizens, limited yet. The key to economic growth is new investments coming in, new money coming in, and foreign direct investment is a major source. What are the statistics? The Philippines is the lowest in the ASEAN. We only have about $103 billion as foreign direct investment. 
Singapore has 18 times this amount. They have over one three trillion something dollars. 